Hello class, and welcome back to part two of Maths Lessons with myself, Random Idiot. Let us recap on what we have learnt in the previous lesson. We learnt about numbers. That's about it. In today's lesson, we'll be learning all about shapes and symbols. But Random Idiot, what do shapes and symbols have to do with maths? Silence. Oh, I will have silence from the class. We will begin with this symbol here. This is known as a bench and two stools. But in old maths, I believe it is called the divide sign. It is used to slash numbers down. For example, if we have a six and we divide it by two, watch how it gets slashed. Did you see that? That was some great maths there. The next symbol we'll be learning is this one. As we can see, the inventor of this symbol completely plagiarized it from the medic symbol. How the symbol inventor got away with this senseless crime is beyond me, but that is just how it goes, I guess. This symbol is also known as the plus symbol, and it is used to add numbers together. For example, if you wanted to add a 3 and a 4 together, you would just squish them together like so, and you get 34. As you can see, maths is not as difficult as you first thought. The next symbol is this X. As you can see, the symbol inventor became extremely lazy here and decided to steal a letter from the English alphabet instead of actually inventing a new symbol. This X is used to multiply numbers. A quick way of multiplying numbers can be done like this. The very final symbol is this. What is this line that you are showing us, you may ask? Well, this line is in fact representing a minus. It is used to subtract numbers away from one another, to make them smaller. For example, if you wanted to subtract 249,656 from 738,410, you would do so using the minus symbol. Now, as you may have figured out yourself, the reason that I have shown you all of these symbols is because they are used to calculate sums of numbers. And there is a special calculating device that you will need in order to do the sums yourself. It is, of course, one of these. Besides guessing, Using a calculator is the only way of doing sums, and it is pretty accurate too. Let us try and solve a maths problem on one of these calculators. Our maths problem is this. Let us try and solve it now. Four, let me carry the one. Um, minus 0 plus 17 square root to the power of 7 and equals. I've just realized that this calculator does not have any batteries, in which case I cannot do the sum. Some batteries have now been located, so let's complete this dreaded math problem once and for all. Okay, so that's 7 times by the power of square roots plus 4. Carry the 1 times 95 plus 6 minus a plus x7 equals... According to the calculator, the answer is P. Thanks to this trusty calculator, another sum was solved. Shapes! <sighs> what is a shape? A shape is an object, boundaries of it, 
what, what it's made of, like, like the edges? Well, that's a bad question to ask anyway. So now that we know what a shape is, here is an example of one. This is your standard triquetra, a very basic shape that I'm sure all of you have seen and heard of before. Oh, and here we have the Enneagram in all of its glory. And of course, here is your rhombi costi dodecahedron. These are just the basic shapes out there, but there are trickier ones that will take you a little longer to learn. The reason why I am showing you all of these shapes is because mathematicians like to work out the size of the shapes and how big they are for some reason. Wow, look at the size of that rectangle. It must be at least 20 centimeters in my estimates. Let's just check on this calculator to be sure. Error. What does that mean? And that is how you calculate the size of a shape. To help prevent your brain from exploding from all of this knowledge that you have received today, we will stop the lesson here. I thank you all for tuning into the lesson and hope that you have managed to take in all of this information because I suspect a big maths test will be coming up. So make sure you do plenty of revision until then. Goodbye. to the more advanced shapes now. Well, that isn't creepy at all.